and battery. And after I was able to play with her, I would like to introduce you to one of my new favorite top laners, Gwen, who in my opinion works kind of like a counter pick, but still is worth trying out. I'd just like to ask you to kindly press like and subscribe button. And without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. First off, no one has yet found any broken combos. So for runes, we are going for Conqueror, since you will be trying to stay in fight as long as you can and have ways to manage that. Then I personally would usually recommend Triumph, because first off, you are going to be the fighting really up close. So there's almost no use of going for overheal and well presence of mind have a lot of utility because has a lot of utility because you do run out of mana pretty fast since you do not have such a great pool but if we are going for healing let's do the healing properly then alacrity is kind of easy since you don't need bloodline since you're already healing off your auto attacks and tenacity won't really help you because once you do get cc'd you are just gonna die and lastly i prefer coup de grass because again if you get low you will most lastly die and you're not so not tanky that cut down has any meaning so that's for the first three that is fairly easy for secondary runes, I prefer Domination. First off, it's mostly the sudden impact. Because you will be using your E all the time. Meaning that you will have at least that 6 magic penetration at a time. Sometimes it lasts for 5 seconds. Meaning that at later stages you will probably be able to stack them. And lastly, Ravenous Hunter again. She's all about healing, basically. So, yeah, Ravenous Hunter. If you wouldn't want to go for him, I guess you can go for Eyeball Collection, but this is just so exponentially better that there's no reason to take something else. And for smaller runes, it's obviously going to be Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and Magic Resist or the Armor, depending on your matchup. That is going to be everything for runes. I'll see you with the rest of the guide in the game. First thing, which is in addition to my normal videos, I would just like to show you this rune page with Grasp, which I did not really have time to test. But basic meaning is that you want to poke as much as you can in line. It helps you to get a bit tankier. But I still like my Conqueror page a bit more. Now, without further ado, let's go into the things I know about, and those are summoner spells. So, Flesh is an obvious choice, but then you can, again, because you are on top, decide between Teleport and Ignite. And for me, it's easily Teleport, because Gwen does have some options to go into early kills, at least in uh, against lanes which are scaling, for example like Nasus. But I think that she per is better in mid to late game and she also is a really great split pusher. Which, well, I just on every split pusher I go I use teleport so I can get to team fights when I'm needed. And that is basically it for summoners. Now for the items. Uh, first off, for your starter items, you have, again, two options. Either Corrupting Potion, if you do want to play aggressively early game, and are pretty confident that you can play, or if you think that you will not have that much lane interaction, you can simply go for Durn's Rank and two health pots. But I, again, I usually go for the run string since I'm not trying to be so aggressive early with Gwen, apart from some Q traits. And that is basically everything to that. 
Now to the more important items is going to be your mythic item and I again, which it's probably not that surprising and many people use it, I go for Riftmaker. First up, Riftmaker has uh, Omnivamp and grants it to ever for every item you get and since Gwen really relies on her healing, Omnivamp works great for her. Also, Riftmaker grants you health and ability power, which again, that is what are you going to be building. You don't really need that much ability haste, though you will build some items which grant a nice amount of it, but it's not as important for you. You're mostly going for that Omnivamp and ability power. For second secondary item, you usually will want to try to get your boots because you are mobile and you will want to exceed that. So you got three options actually. Either you can go for one of the tanky boots, which are ob obvious, because you are probably going to need them sometimes. Mostly if you are going to use that grass page, I would definitely pick one of those. I usually prefer Mercury Threads since, well, a, uh, it grants the tenacity. And being CC'd is terrible for every champion, but for Gwen who relies on healing especially. And the third option is going to be Sorcerer Shoes. Because, you know, Magic Pen is great and if your team is otherwise AD, it is a great option. For our next item, there are, well, <laughs> you see them right here, so it's not that difficult to explain, but uh, I usually prefer to go Lich Bane as my second item, because I really am trying to rush that Sheen, so I can grant get extremely nice amounts of damage really quickly, since it has one and a half second cooldown. And if you combine that with your Q and E, which both are on a real cooldown themselves, it is going to be tremendous increase. Zonias are also extremely good item, and even if you're not planning to building them early, I would at least recommend Seekers with in matchups where there's heavy AD. And after that, as you can see right here, I would recommend buying both Nether Stoot and Cosmic Drive. I usually prefer Cosmic Drive first, because again, ability power and health, and also it grants you that movement speed. But Nether Stoot is a bit better if you are, as I was saying before, only or one of the few AP damage on your team. So you will want to get one of these two and then finish your Zonias. And after that, it is on you. You need more magic penetration, go for Void Staff. You need Heal Card, go for Moral Nomicon. You think you don't need any of that, you can probably just <laughs> risk going for Cosmic Drive, even though at this stage of the game, I think that it's not that great as your last item, so I would probably recommend Moral Nomicon instead. And even though Rabandon is obviously strong item, I think that going for Magic Pen or Heal Cut is a bit better for Gwen, because you already do have nice damage. This will increase it, but I just find Moral Nikon a bit better as a last item. And with that done, we can move over to your abilities. First off, we got Gwen's passive, which is actually pretty simple <laughs> for a change. First off, you will deal additional magic damage on hit, and you will recover 70% of the damage dealt this way. It is not so powerful, and it also does not scale very well. As you can see right here, it's really low number. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> but 
it can give you that heal and it mostly will be used with your abilities which by the way well every damaging ability you have applies thousand cuts another thing to this is that if you are playing against well <laughs> if you are playing in a lane uh, the damage is increased against minions who are under 40 percent uh, who are under 40 percent health so it is a nice uh, crutch for farming and that is basically it now we can move for your queue that is a uh, called snip snip and what you do is when snips her <laughs> scissors in front of her twice and damages every enemy in the cone if they are in the middle the damage will be true instead of magic and now as you can see this little cursor right under bar with every auto attack you make you will be filling up this bar out here if you are on four the your q will basically consume every stack you have so you can go from two snips on basic up to six with filled bar the it lasts six seconds so usually you want to charge it up for on some minions before you go in in fights and it actually makes you so much stronger because if you look right now the q deals well i'm level 18 but it's 350 damage and when you max your Q advantage, it is much higher. Meaning that this is your main tool for dealing damage, apart from auto attacks, which you will be using to up it. So it's a really nice ability. I like the idea of hitting enemies in the middle. <laughs> and that's basically everything I can say to it, apart from when you're casting it you will always cast the same speed because as you can see right now the time is really long between the two cuts so when you add those four additional it will still take the same time and when you're casting your Q you can't move and you either can't be well you can be CC'd but your Q will still be going so it's ability that can't be cancelled now we can move into your w which is kind of a signature spell for gwen and it's called hello mist when you press it you will create a well hello mist in a circle around yourself and every enemy outside of the circle will not be able to target you this counts for monsters champions and minions you will also gain uh, additional armor and magic resist so even if you can't use it to dodge projectiles i would recommend using it when you're for when you're dwelling in line for example because the damage reduction you will get from it is sometimes really significant another important well little another important thing is that you can recast your w to move the circle you do that by first off you can do that by just moving outside and another option is if you don't want to totally move outside you can just reposition and it will always go in the center around you so you can possibly use this to when you're fighting a melee champion by the way champions who can't hit you are well they get this debuff with broken sword that shows that they can not damage gwen but what you can do is when you're fighting a melee champion you can move the mist up behind you and when they do want to deal damage to you they have to spend the time going into you and you get that free damage when they are moving and <coughs> now into your e 
it is a dash that can go over walls it is very similar to well it is basically a Lucian dash but it has a additional bonus to that and that is that after the dash for four seconds you gain additional range and magic damage on your auto attacks this makes it really strong because not only do you get additional attack speed which by the way scales really nicely but you also gain the attack speed for a set amount of time not amount of auto attacks meaning that if you yourself have really high attack speed this will be extremely powerful another thing is that when you hit an enemy with an auto attack after you use your e you will reduce the cooldown by half meaning that it is right now it is three second cooldown meaning that you will be dashing around as often as you want because well you will be really strong also thanks to this and your Q you will stack up conquer really fast because first off your Q deals damage six times and that is something I will talk about a bit later but this also grants you so much attack speed and possible safety because of 100 range that you can build it up the damage for the additional damage also works against threats which means that you will be able to split push really fast and possibly the only last thing I can say to this is that you can't move during your Q, but you can use your E, which is your only way of mobility when you are in the Q. And lastly, we got your ultimate, which is called Needlework. Basically, you have this possible long range projectile, which will send out a needle, which will damage every enemy it goes through and heal you for the amount for a 70% amount from your passive. When you do that, you gain this bar. And when you hit enemy with your Q or auto attack, you can recast the ability with three needles. When you do that again, you can recast it with five needles. Again, you will be healing for 70% of every champion hit. And every needle is count it as a different sound as a different as a different projectile meaning that if you're playing against something like Leona and she uses her W for the damage reduction you deal less damage to her than to someone else with same damage stats uh, armor and magic resist stats because every needle is a small amount of damage and well that is basically our ultimate it is a great sustain tool and can cause extreme damage during team fights if your team is able to protect you somehow now i guess i will just quickly go over combos and we'll get into the lining and dress so i don't really know <laughs> that much about gwen so i could give you many reliable things but one of the easiest one is using your E as an auto attack resetter, meaning that you can use this usually during early game when enemy engages on you and you don't need to run away from them. You can use this to get that additional attack very fast. And then we got a basic trading combo while you are, you are in line. And that is going to be E into your W and then basically you wanna hit enemy with that empowered auto attack let out your Q you will possibly have some stacks for minion wave and then keep going with E and auto attacks as long as you can usually you should deal at least half em half enemies half since you have that true damage from your passive um, your Q and it looks something like this. 
and that's it. You use your W, as I was saying before, for that armor and magic resist. It does not really have any value, unless, unless of course, your opponent... You can use this in, the, in a smart way, where you use your W, move to your opponent, and then you can damage him. And as you could see at the start, he was not able to damage me. As you could see at the start, he was not able to damage me. That's what I wanted to say. <sighs> Anyways, the last big thing I can show you is on level 6, when you get your ultimate, which is a great power spike for Gwen. And basically what you want to do is possibly lay down your W again for those stats that can save your life. And then use your ultimate for the first time. E around the enemy. Auto attack him two times. Use your R for the second time. Auto attack him two times. And well, I, I will show you and then explain it. That's what I meant. You do want to put in those two auto attacks because first off you need at least one to get second cast of your R. After you've done that, you will do that those two auto attacks again. Use your Q, which is now on max amount of damage. You by the way can see that if you press shift on your keyboard. And when that Q is over, you can use your third cast, which is there for that extreme amount of damage. By the time you're done casting your R, you have your E ready and you can keep chasing. Which, by the way, is a great thing for Gwen since she has extremely good chases thanks to her E which allows her to catch up to enemies extremely fast. And if you are close enough to get that one auto attack off, you will be there even sooner. Also, she does have her W, so if she is a bit further away from them, they can't hit her with CC from, for example, from Morgana's skill, so she can chase really easily. But now into some lining. First off is picking, picking Gwen. She is extremely strong against melee champions. I was saying at the start, I see her as a counter pick. Because while she does have that uh, true damage from her Q, that extreme amounts of he healing and max health damage, plus with mobility, she does not really have any form of CC. Meaning that when you are trying to engage on a ranged champion, you will possibly be able to catch up to someone like Ash, who has low mobility, if she doesn't expect that you're coming. But you can't really get close enough to any ADC before they deal significant amounts of damage to you. That is countered by the W, which basically doesn't allow ADC to kill you. So your best chance is to you again split push possibly kill someone who will try to stop you and then tp into a fight and hope that you are close to adc you can kill because otherwise you will be forced to fight with frontline and drop your w so they can't damage you you have this kind of uh <laughs> i can touch you you can touch me uh <laughs> because as i was saying you don't have any way to actually catch them because you do have your dashes but many ADCs have at least some form of CC for some slows and they themselves have some mobility so you usually just want to go 1v1 with many champions which is why I would recommend banning some long-range champions in the top lane. Next, 
once you are in the lane you do have a nice way of freezing the wave because you do have that self-sustain which allows you to freeze the lane and heal back up the damage you've taken from the minions so that is definitely one plus side of Gwen another thing is that you have a great range when you use your E so even if you are in a dangerous situation you can usually just try to farm from safety because well your E just have that has that, that much range and also all of your abilities well apart from ultimate since it's an ultimate are on a really low cooldown your E doubling uh, reducing the cooldown by half if you hit land one auto attack and your Q which basically as you can see it has five second cooldown on level one so if you well it's not 5.2 seconds I have CD but basically if you land your Q with full stacks and hit another four auto attacks on when you are level one your Q will already be up and you can use it with max stacks again. Then Gwen does not have that high uh, mana cost. That is kind of because she uses her abilities extremely often and she does not have a high mana pool. Because if I show you again the level 6 combo, when you WRE and I get my mana. But you will run out of mana really fast. You can easily in end fights, which means that you don't really need that mana, but keep it in mind when you're split pushing, which again is what I would recommend you to do. Because if you If you are going for the tower, you will be using your E a lot. And as you can see right now, I've taken one wave and destroyed one tower. And it cost me, well, what did I do? I cast E three times, Q once. So you got to be careful on how much mana you are. And that is basically going to be it. You often usually want any want uh, champions who have a high a high amounts of CC on your team so you can catch out enemies and kill them since again you yourself don't have any way of CCing someone and you do wanna be split pushing as long as it possible then teleport into a team fight kill who you can and win and yeah also if you do this you can you can be small gwen which is really cool right please like me well that is going to be everything i hope i teach you something new and i will see you in the next video Patreon out